my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a spring makeup tutorial because it is finally starting to look a tiny bit sunny and a tiny bit spring-ish in Denmark. So I'm just, I feel so like inspired to do some kind of a spring makeup look because I want some spring now, really. I'm just like, when it's not snowing and it's not like wintery, I want spring. So without further ado, if you are interested in a spring makeup look, Keep watching and this makeup look is going to be very dewy very healthy looking very glowy and I just really want my skin to look fresh and new for spring so that is what I'm going for firstly for primer or kind of like an illuminator I'm gonna use the Giorgio Armani fluid sheer in the color number three it is very very bronzy on the skin and will give you this bronzy effect and oh my gosh under your foundation is gonna look amazing so I'm just gonna use that in my entire face and as you can see I have been fake tanning as well so don't mind the hands, they're a tiny bit cray cray, but you know how it is. But I just want my skin to be very, very glowy and beautiful and everything nice. Oh yeah, and by the way, I've already used a primer, which was the Vitamin Rich Face Face from Bobbi Brown. Because it's very hydrating without being too much, and it just, it's amazing as a primer and a um, cream in a one. And now actually before applying my foundation, I'm gonna do some contouring straight away because I wanna use some cream contour. And I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown foundation stick in the color number seven, Almond. And then I'm just gonna do some slight contouring, not too much because I don't want this to be all about the contour. I want it to be about a glowy, healthy looking skin, but I still want a teeny tiny bit of contour. And then also to bronze my skin instantly, I'm going to use the foundation stick from Bobbi Brown once again in the color 6.5 because it's a bit more warm. And then I'm just using it on top just to get some bronzy effect as well. So I'm both kind of like bronzing and contouring at once. It looks kind of crazy right now, I know, but wait till you see the finished result. way to actually do some slight contour and slight bronzing before actually applying your foundation and looks so much more natural once you apply your foundation on top but right now I do know it looks kind of cray cray Foundation and I'm gonna stick to the Giorgio Armani Lumen Silk Foundation in the color 3.5. It's probably going to be a tiny bit too light for my fake tan, but I'm just gonna bronze up or whatever. So we'll do that. And once again, as you all know, I'm gonna use my favorite tool, my beauty blender. And I actually haven't used this foundation too much here on my channel, but I just really feel like that it looks so amazing on the skin. I mean, in summertime, it's like my perfect match. But when I'm not wearing any fake tan, it's kind of like that wintry, springy period where I'm still really, really pale. It is just way too dark. But because I'm wearing some fake tan, I can rock it, and I'm happy about that. I'm gonna use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer on my blemishes around on my face. This one is in the color NC25. It's probably one shade too light right now, but we'll deal with it. As I said, I'm just gonna bronze up later on. And because I don't have any concealer that really matches me in my under eye area when I'm wearing fake tan, I'm using um, the Pro Longwear Concealer as well. However, I wouldn't recommend it under the eyes. I think it's way too thick and just drying under the eyes. But desperate times, you know how it is. And once again, just using the beauty blender. It is seriously my very best friend. What would I do without you? Probably just use a brush. setting or doing anything like that I'm gonna use the Benefit Sunbeam um, highlighter and I'm just gonna use it on the highest points of my cheeks and just to set my on 
the eye area, I'm gonna be using the Laura Messier Translucent Loose Setting Powder just to bake a tiny bit because we love the baking, oh yeah. <laughs> no, but seriously guys, it's the best. Once again, I feel like going, what would I do without baking? Probably just set it with a pressed powder. Away, let's move on to the eyebrows and do something about them. Firstly, I'm gonna use the Benefit Gimme Brow because it's been forever since I've used it and I miss it. And then I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the color Blonde. It's starting to go a tiny bit dry on me, so I probably need to grab a new one, but. It's still going strong. And I'm actually quite proud of myself because if you know me and if you followed me here on my channel for a long time, you know that I've got a special relationship to the brow waist from Anastasia but I actually haven't bought it yet so I'm still out of it and I'm just going through all of my other brow things but let's be honest, it will be back in my life very soon because I do miss it The brows are on, let's move on to some eyeshadow and I'm just gonna go for a very 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 simple bronzy eye makeup look because that's what I want As a prime I'm gonna use the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot because why not? It's almost out as you can see and I'm just trying to use it up right now. And it's going a tiny bit dry right now so I just need to use it up as quickly as possible because it's not doing its best anymore because it's that dry. But we'll work with it. any kind of eyeshadow, I'm just gonna use the um, Becca Jaclyn Hill Shimmering Skin Perfect Oppressed uh, in the color Champagne Glow, this was a limited edition but I think all of the colors in here are stables. I'm gonna use um, pearl up there under my eyebrows just to highlight. pop in the middle and I'm going to use that as my eyeshadow because it is one of my favorite highlighters at the moment. I think it's so stunning and especially for spring. So I'm just going to apply it on my entire eyelid. And I'm also blending it up into my crease just so there's no harsh edges or anything like that. Blend it into the crease. And to finish the look and just to give a little bit more of a definition to my eye, I'm going to use a color called Blush Cover. I'm going to use that in my crease just very, very lightly. brush and just swipe away any excess powder from the baking and then I'm gonna move on to the under eye area and I'm just gonna use a mixture of these two under my eyes then I'm just gonna quickly take some of the MAC Fix Plus this one is one with the Yuzu scent and I'm just gonna spray it on my face not only does it smell really, really good thanks to the Yuzu, but it also just makes your makeup look so much more like dewy and glowy and healthy. And for a tiny bit of an inner corner highlight, I'm going to use pearl once again, sticking to all of the highlighters. Let's move on to mascara. You can easily wear some false lashes, however, I'm just going to use my favorite mascara. Right now, I really love the one from Sephora. It is the mascara called The Mascara Volume, Length and Definition. And I just want my lashes to be very wispy and feathery and beautiful. And I really feel like this mascara gives me everything that I want. 
I'm gonna use the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara because it's one of the only mascaras that actually stays on my lashes without smudging. Skin Perfector in the color Moonstone because it's one of my favorites for my cheek area. And I'm just gonna be very, very precise with it. And apply where I applied the um, cream highlighter or the liquid highlighter. And I'm also doing it on the tip of my nose, my cutis bow. And just to give a tiny bit of a healthy cheek going on without being too bronzy or anything like that, I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown Shimmer Break Compact in the color bronze, which is so beautiful on the cheeks. I'm just mixing the colors. extra of a glow to your cheeks and a bit more definition which I really like and before moving on to the list I'm just gonna use max um, fix plus once again once again just to set down everything and to give once again a really nice healthy glow for the lips I'm gonna use my lip liner from Bobby Brown called beige Tilbury lipstick in the color Confession. Really, really pretty on top. I love rocking these kinds of looks where it's just very, very bronzy and glowy. I really hope that you enjoyed this one as well. And please thumbs up if you did and leave a comment telling me which kinds of look you want to see from me next. And yeah, like, subscribe, all of that jazz. You know the drill. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!